but just pop back into Firelink, get some flasks, because I don't feel like kindling every bonfire, because A, I use, like, all of my humanity trying to get this door open that doesn't open. And B, every time I just go human, I get invaded. And uh, over time, it started to get a little bit less fun. If I if I could say so, it started to, like, not be very fun. I can keep upgrading Endurance and get a little bit more equip load. I don't know how much I need to equip something that I would rather wear. I, I kind of regret not putting points into decks just to get a little bit more damage. But I'm doing, like, so much damage anyway. Like, it, who cares? I think I brought up this point last time as well, is, like, I'm I'm doing a lot of damage, and I could be doing a little bit more, but, like, the damage is already pretty, pretty good. I think I'm already pretty tanky as well. I still can't roll. I think I'm pretty tanky as well, but... Can I upgrade any of my armor? I think I can, like... Where's my shield at? It's probably, like, the bottom. Nah, I can't upgrade. I need I need one more Twinkling Titanite to get three more stability. Now I gotta find all the rest of my gear. I think the helmet is already, like, fully upgraded. I can't do that either. I'm trying to replace the chest piece. I should probably upgrade the, the like, waist cloth. Well, we'll do this a couple times. I think I've been primarily up, uh, eyeing, like, upgrading a chest piece instead of the legs. So I'll probably just keep up upgrading the legs. And we'll drop back down and do this, like, back-to-back -back boss, I guess. We had the, the Fire Sage Demon or whatever the hell it was. This probably does a little bit of fall damage. I think I can just, like... That was a little bit. We can drop down and just walk down these stairs and then do another boss fight, and I will go from there, I suppose. People ringing the bell. Nice. Nice to hear from some fellow bell ringers. Though I rang, I rang the bell like forever ago at this point. That bell got rang a long time ago for me. Dude, I don't even want, I don't even want to drop on that to see what that says. It probably just says like I did it or something or here. Yeah, we can get to this one though. Hey, look at that, imminent sorrow. I should just put one like, oh shit, what the? Oh, am I stuck here? Oh no, is that why it's imminent sorrow? Oh, come on. Oh wait, hey, I got out of it, all right. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you would get like stuck on that. I almost got stuck, that was weird. Be wary of right. Is this a boss fight or no? Is this the annoying boss fight that I think it is? Oh yeah, this. I hate this boss fight. It's probably gonna be a little bit better now because I do damage, but. This boss fight kinda, I don't know. It's like some big ass fire centipede or something. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I feel like at some point during my Dark Souls journey, I had a lot of trouble with this boss fight, which is probably why I don't really like it a whole lot. But, you know, that was probably, like, I don't know, eight years ago, so. Unfortunately, if you go in the lava, you take a bunch of damage, as you can see. So, we kind of have a limited space to fight him. He's also an asshole, so that's an issue. He's also got kind of a... Well, maybe you're just supposed to hit his arm, like, when you dodge it. Well, <laughs> if I could have dodged it, that might have been good. God damn it, where's my fucking lock on? He's just gonna keep He's just gonna keep doing this because he knows I like can't do anything about it. You know this this isn't the most fun, I gotta say. Here we go, finally. He's got like a just a really bad lock on point. Look at look at that lock on point for melee. 
It's like the upper center of his body. It would be nice if a, if a boss like this had, like, I don't know, multiple... Oh, shit, he picked me up. He's gonna fucking mess me up. It would be nice if they had, like, multiple lock-on points. I think that would be pretty... Like, a pretty good change. And I think they do that in the future, but at least for, like, Dark Souls 1, you really only get, like, one lock-on point. So this is a pretty good boss to... not even worry about... Oh, shit, where'd he go? Pretty good boss to not even lock on for. At least if you're melee. Magic, you're probably golden. Oh shit, I cut something off. What the fuck? I didn't I didn't even know you could like chop stuff off. Oh yeah, he probably has like a you can probably chop that tail off, maybe. Well, as I expected, I do quite a bit of damage and don't really take a whole lot. So, that boss fight... A lot of these boss fights recently haven't really been too big of a... Too big of a deal, but... Reduces lava damage. So, this ring you gotta throw on, and then look, hey, you take, like, way less lava damage. What happens if you, like, walk under this shit? Do you take more? No, look, we can take, like, a nice lava shower, and we don't care at all. Look at that. So you take, like, crazy reduced damage, which is fantastic, because you're going to be walking through lava in this area, like, all day. This does look like something important. I don't think this is... I don't think so. But it does look really important. Guess I'll probably check around, see if there's any items. I don't know why you would want to come over here to fight that enemy, but I don't know. I guess you have a couple different places you can go to fight. As long as you can get past the lava and not die. Also, I gotta say, this area, not very good on the eyes. Like, who who could have guessed bright red and orange lava wouldn't be the best to look at? I don't, maybe, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just a me thing. You know, this area would have been pretty nice to fight him, actually. You can probably get to this pretty easily. Yeah, you, like, start over here so you could just, like, hop over that little pit and be fine. And then hop over this other little pit. Cause you won't you won't die to this. You'll take like a couple ticks of damage, but and you get a nice little kind of circular area to fight him in. So probably should have done that, but I never remember this, or I never knew about that. So that's a good thing about Dark Souls. Unless you're like a super duper expert at the game and you've played through them and like figured everything out, you you'll probably learn something new like every single run that you do. The game, the game really teaches you new stuff, like, every time you go through it. At least for me. We got old Solaire here, who should not be crazy because we killed the sunlight maggots. Or whatever the hell they were called. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. He's going a little crazy at this point, but... Why? Why? After all... Unfortunately, I guess that's about all he says. Let me warp. Let me go back to, like, Seethe's area. And let me see if I can find... Zygmire's daughter. Is there, like, a golden... Like, I might have already freed her. I don't, I don't remember freeing her. I really don't. I don't even know where she would be at. Besides maybe this area you free her. Cause I since I got since I got Zigmeyer's quest so far along, it would be nice to like finish it completely. 
If I can remember how to do it. Of course, I could just, like, iPad look it up. <laughs> I just, like, bust out my iPad next to me and look it up, but... I'm stubborn, you know? I like playing games certain ways, and I'm fucking stubborn. Oh, is that a gold one over there? Dude, there's a gold one over there, actually. That might be... That might be it. Oh, dude, that's totally it. That's totally... She She's totally in that golem over there. There's like... what? Where are you going? Thank you. I don't remember this being here at all, and I'm pretty sure I cleared out this whole area pretty well when we were here, so... Okay, I missed both of my attacks, so that was cool. <laughs> I was like, I'll do the cool samurai slice and then just fucking missed like two attacks. And out pops, I don't know what her name is, but I'm pretty sure it's Sigmire's daughter. It was you who rescued me. Why, thank you. I am Vigeland of Katarina. I don't know how I ended up in that crystal. It wasn't terrible in there, but I could hardly move. I must think of some way to repay you. Alright, how are you going to repay me? Oh, have you seen my father? You wouldn't miss him. A suit of armor just like mine. I sure have. Do we tell her no? It, like, defaults to no. No, I, have, I haven't seen him, like, seven times this game playthrough so far. Thank goodness. I knew he was here somewhere. Well then, now I must find him. Thanks again, truly. Now I shall just stay put and keep out of trouble. Thank goodness. Well All right, well, apparently already repeating. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't know where she goes after this. Maybe Firelink. Firelink would probably be my my best guess. Though then again, I have done some of this like kind of out of order. I think I think this has been kind of out of order. I think generally you would want to say, oh hey, here she is. I think generally you would want to save her a little bit earlier than like right now, but it seems like it might work out anyway. Oh, hello again. We're both managing quite well, aren't we? I haven't found my father yet. Have you seen him? Really? Then I must be off. I'm sorry you've caused you trouble. He has a knack for that. If he just stay put. Now she might go down to Ash Lake? I'm not sure. I know sometimes if you position correctly, you can kind of like phase the camera through some of their armor and kind of like see what they look like. Yeah, we can, like, kind of see... I would probably have to be, like... Well, she turns around to look at me, like, no matter what, so... I guess that makes it kind of difficult. But I remember trying to do this to see, like, what what Zygmire looks like, but... Probably not too important. We can see she has uh, an ear. She's got an ear and what looks to be, like, I don't know, brownish blonde hair. So, that... You know, she got an ear and she's got hair. I don't know. Let's go down to Ash Lake. I don't even know if it lets me fast travel down to Ash Lake. Oh, I should just be able to go to, like, yeah, the Stone Dragon. If they are in Ash Lake, well, then this should work out just fine. It's going to be it's gonna be a bit of a walk, but I don't know. Ash Lake is cool anyway. I'm sure people are sick of me talking about Ash Lake, but... Ash Lake is just really, just really pretty cool. I don't know. We'll see if we've got two big old onion knights down here, and then that's probably the quest. Uh, it looks like is that a, that might be a clam. I can't tell if that's a clam or Sigmire. Sigmire and Zigland. I think it might be a clam though. I think if you complete this quest, you get, like, a Titanite slab that I don't really care about right now, but... I guess if they're not down here, I probably will look up exactly what to do next. Just because I'm, like, so close to finishing it. I feel like. Unless I've already screwed it up by doing stuff out of order, which is possible. 
These guys are like, man, these guys are like pretty tanky. I thought he was already going to be dead. Give me the Twinkling Titanite. Give me it. Nothing? Okay. That, nah, that's cool. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of nothing, you know? Actually, I don't think that, I think that was that, like, dragon skull that's out here. It's not Zigmire or Zigland. Just a big dragon skull. Plus some, like, weird glitchy textures. I don't, I don't know why that wouldn't show up in the recording, but if you can't see it, it's definitely, it definitely exists. Just, you gotta take my word for it. It definitely exists. See if I can see anyone. I think they're usually, like, over here in this little kind of, like, maybe by the bonfire. Of course, because I did things kind of in a weird order, it might be all messed up, but... Like I said, if I can't find them here, then I will probably just look it up. I don't, I don't know where she goes, like, after you talk to her in Firelink. I thought it would be down here, but maybe not. It's also a really long walk over here. You know, unfortunately, I'm just not really seeing them. I think they would be kind of like around here somewhere. Ash Lake isn't very big, so I don't know exactly where she goes after. Maybe she goes to like An Orlando for some reason? I, maybe? Maybe I gotta like find her in An Orlando? I guess I can take like a quick look around there. If I can't find her, then I, I will seriously just, I will actually just look it up probably for next time if I can remember.